guys, what is going on, and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 71,000 subscribers, and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. So it is officially 2017. Happy New Year to all of you guys watching right now now it is the first day of 2017 so let's make this year a good one guys let's make it happen let's do what we want to do and let's get it done this year 2017 is our year baby but anyway guys once again i am coming back at you guys with another creepy video and today we are talking about another scary story and this scary story is called the bedroom light so, the story of the bedroom light is a creepy urban legend, which is also known as, aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? So the story goes, there was these two girls who were best of friends in school. When they went to college, they decided to live together and become roommates. This one night, the two girls decided to stay up late and do some last minute studying for a midterm exam that they had the following morning. One of the girls was, kind of lazy so she decided to give up studying and just go to bed but the other girl she was a hard worker so she decided to stay up late and carry on studying because she wanted to do well on the exam during the night the girl that decided to stay up late remembered that she left one of the books that she needed in her bedroom but she didn't want to wake her friend by turning on the light so she rummaged around the room in the dark trying to find her book then the girl heard some heavy breathing so she whispered her roommate's name and said, Are you awake? But there was no answer. Then the girl heard something moving in the darkness. So once again, she whispered, Can I turn on the light? But once again, there was no answer. So then the girl cleared her throat and she said, Can I turn on the light? I'm looking for something. But her roommate didn't respond. So the girl just sighed in frustration and carried on searching for her book in the darkness. Eventually she did find the book, so she picked it up and she started feeling her way back to the door. The girl stayed awake all night studying, and then when morning came, she raced to the exam hall to take her test. But she noticed that her roommate didn't show up for the exam. The girl was getting really worried about her friends, so after the exam, she rushed home rushed up the stairs and knocked on the bedroom door. But once again, there was no answer. The girl was getting very anxious at this point, so she just opened the bedroom door and turned on the bedroom light. She was met with the most horrifying sight that she had ever laid eyes on. Her roommate was laying motionless on top of the bed in a pool of blood. She had been brutally killed. Then. The girl turned around and saw something that chilled her to the bone. Written on the wall behind her, smeared in blood, said the words, Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? Now, I have heard this story multiple times, and it never gets old. I love it. It's definitely one of the creepiest urban legends there is out there, and I think that's just due to the fact that she was sitting in the other room doing her studying, while her friend was getting killed in the bedroom. The only thing that was separating her from the killer was a door. Now that just terrifies me. And there is actually a movie about this. And I think it's called, Aren't You, um, Aren't You Glad You Didn't Turn On The Light? No, I think it was called, I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's one of those movies. It's one of them, but I don't know. I get confused. There's so many different like sequels and remakes. I just get lost, but it's definitely worth watching if you guys haven't seen it. But my question to all of you guys for question of the day is not about the story, but it is about you guys. What are your goals for this year? What do you want to make happen this year? Let me know in the comment section. That is question of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can go for 12 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And remember the most important thing of all, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you all.